Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hi, Jürgen. Good afternoon, Jürgen. How are you? Good to see you. Who's the Everton fan on this call? <laughs> ah. I've grown a beard and put my glasses on so I look like you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, again, it all started. I'm a head teacher in a school in Waverley. I run an engineering um, specialist school. Noticed on social media that a lot of schools around the country were starting to make PPE because there was just a, such a need for hospitals across the country. So we went and made about 100 PPE visors that night. Within seconds, they've been snapped up by nurses. Nurses coming to our homes to pick them up after shifts, crying, saying they had no PPE, throwing money at us, saying thank you so much. But the need was getting that great that we just couldn't cope. And that's when, you know, fan support and food banks and Ian and Dave came involved in terms of we need to really make this a big project. And that's where Merseyside PP Hope was born. Our role in it was really putting rocket boosters under it, wasn't it, John? With regards yeah. to giving it profile. We come together like we always do. So when we come on together fighting food poverty, this time we come together on the role of PPE. But I told sort of the overarching thing is football fans once again working within society to come together collectively. You know, we've manufactured as a group 48,000 PPE visors. Discussions we had early days was people talking about charity. It's not charity, it's solidarity. It's what working class communities do. They come together and that's what makes this city the special city it is. Because in times of adversity, we do come together. How many people were, in, were involved in this process? In, in across the whole hub, there's probably be, be about 50, 60 people involved who have volunteered. People produced 48,000. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just people pulling together to do things like delivering. Yeah, and they're the unsung heroes. You know, people turning up at the door saying, right, where am I taking these deliveries to? I'll go and deliver to 15 care homes today. People driving around the country to get materials. You know, it's unbelievable and it's thanks to them as well. Everton Liverpool is like it's a it's a it's an interesting thing because you would say that cannot come together, but you see in the most important things it comes easily together. And thanks to you for that. So showing the best in us, showing the best of the game and stuff like this, that it really it's about the game and it's about solidarity and it's about togetherness and all that stuff. I, I couldn't I couldn't thank you more. There's far more uh, what unites us than divides us. So that's what that's the message that we're promoting all the time. We're incredibly proud of the fact that we, we built the whole concept of who fan support and food banks is and was not being tribal. Uh, so <laughs> Sorry about that. That was his uh, Z cars. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a big role and play a big part in what goes on in our local communities. It's about collaboration. It's about tapping into probably one of the biggest resources available in this city. Most of us are season ticket holders, whether it's Liverpool or Everton, and we're missing football. So this has really helped us pulling together, you know, the solidarity tour around the country to meet other football fans for us really helped our mental state um, moving forward. So, you know, we're proud of what we've done and we, we hope and um, the, the thanks that we've had from people around the city has been unbelievable. Life is not always fair, I would say. Or oh, really, not probably most of the time not fair, honestly, but we, we deal with it. Eh? And without people like you, um, it would be much more difficult to deal with all the, the things that happen out there. Wherever we can help as, as a club, me as a person, players, stuff like this, we, we are open, we are open, we, we, our life is not normal, we know that, That's, so we need people who give us the right information where we can do something for the community because we all live here and we want to have this area in an as good place as possible and that's um, for me the most important thing of this talk today. Uh, thank you very much for all what you've done and for all what you've said and send my regards to all the people out there who, who are who in that. Thank you. Well, nice one, Jürgen. Nice one. Thanks very much. <laughs>